Hello and welcome to Pseudocode. In this video, we'll talk about whether you should choose an online master's degree or you should choose an offline master's degree or you should go to on campus and pursue a master's in computer science. For the online part, I'll be referring to the Georgia Tech's OMSCS degree and its online aspect. And for offline, I will just be comparing the aspects of the offline degree that this current online degree does not provide. So let's get started. In case you have not watched the two previous videos in this series where I talk about how you can get admitted to Georgia Tech's online program, what are the requirements and what happens after you get admitted into the program, you can please refer to those videos first. The links are in the description. And if you have already seen those, then welcome to this video where we talk about the online and offline aspect. So first, I'm going to talk about how the Georgia Tech's online degree, OMSCS, and any other on-campus degree, not just from Georgia Tech, any other on-campus degree, what are the aspects which are similar like what are the things which are similar in both of these degrees and uh, do not change with uh, a degree being online right so the first aspect of georgia tech's uh, online degree is that the degree that you will receive the degree that you will be awarded after graduation it won't say online anywhere not sure if it makes a difference or not but the degree will not say online uh, it will just be exactly same as a degree that any student would have received from Georgia Tech if they have pursued the degree on campus. So the, this is the first uh, similarity. Second, in Georgia Tech's program, when your grading happens, like you are an online student and your grading happens, the graders sometimes do not know whether you are an online student or an on-campus student. So the grading is same for both kinds of students. There is no difference whatsoever, right? The complexity of the projects and the content of the courses. The courses, let's say we take a course, let's say advanced operating systems, right? The same professor is going to teach the same course on campus via videos or in person and the same content will be delivered on to online students as well. There is no discrepancy whatsoever, right? Even the projects and the classwork and the homework is exactly same if it is the same subject. There will be no difference. The TAs and the community uh, that is available on campus and that is available uh, online is also the same. You will have access to the same TAs, you will have access to the global community, whoever is pursuing the course with you. So even that part does not change uh, with the online aspect. So if you talk about support, uh, you will get as much support uh, in an online degree as much as you get an on, in on campus, except that you won't get to see and meet the people in person. Uh, all of this will be virtual. Coming back to the differences, like what are the difference between an online and an on-campus degree and uh, which one you should choose, right? So I will start with why you should choose an online degree or what are the good reasons to pursue an online degree over an on-campus degree, right? So first, let's say that you do not want to quit your job. You still want to keep your job and you want to study, right? So this is the first and the foremost reason that was applicable to me that I had a good job. I was satisfied with it and I wanted to keep uh, working. I do not want it to quit the industry and go to school full time, right? I wanted to do it in parallel. So that's why I have chosen this. And that is one of the good reasons that if you want to continue working while also pursuing a degree, this is the best way to go about it, right? Second reason could be less cost. If you travel to US and get a degree uh, from a university in US or for any other uh, foreign university, it will cost you a lot of money along with the time that we have already discussed. This degree is not so costly as I have discussed in the first video, it will take maximum seven to eight thousand dollars for you to finish the degree. So cost is uh, cost or money is the another reason. Third reason could be that you are not looking for anything extra, but you're just looking for upskilling yourself. You want to study some particular courses, you want to brush up your knowledge or you want to fill the gaps by studying some courses that you didn't study in your bachelor's. Then this is also a good reason to pursue this online degree. Next is, uh, let's say that you are in one particular field of CS. Let's say you are uh, a front-end engineer or a back-end engineer, but you want to transition to machine learning or artificial intelligence, right? Using this degree and one of its specialization programs that are provided in interactive intelligence, robotics, or machine learning, you can actually change your field of study. You can pursue this degree, upskill, learn some courses, do some projects, and then you can apply for a job which matches uh, with the work and experience that you have received in this master's degree, and you can change your field. So that is also one of the valid reasons that you can continue working whatever you're doing, and you can upskill and change your uh, field of study uh, through this master's. 
right? However, this is also applicable for someone who is not in a CSP. Let's say that you are in a different field or you are in a different profile altogether. Maybe you are a business analyst. Maybe you are a product manager who is looking to become a software engineer or you are a uh, you are uh, in quality assurance you are uh, doing software development testing any of the fields and which are slightly related to software and you want to transition to a full-time software engineer right then also this is a good way to get admitted to this degree learn the basics of computer science do a uh, do a basic specialization like computing systems and you can transition uh, your complete profile from uh, of not being a software engineer to a software engineer this is also one of the good reasons to pursue this degree online while not quitting your job of course one more reason to choose an online path is that uh, you are looking to apply for a PhD, right? So even if you pursue this online uh, Georgia Tech's online degree, you complete your master's, you are eligible to apply for a PhD. So many people who have pursued this master's have applied to PhD programs in Georgia Tech and in other universities and they have got accepted. So if you want to continue your job and finish master's and then apply for a PhD full time and going to a university on campus, you can still do that. That is also one of the good reasons that you can choose the online degree. And one more advantage that you get apart from all these is that uh, Georgia Tech is one of the premier institutes. So you get a pedigree, uh, you get a good name because people who have uh, studied from Georgia Tech, they know how hard it is. So it, it has a good reputation. If you tell, if you go and tell someone that you have studied from Georgia Tech, they obviously will have a good eye for you because they know that it is not easy to pursue and finish this degree, right? So you will get a good, uh, you will get some amount of pedigree uh, using this, using the university's name. I mean, that's not a reason to pursue the degree, but it is just one of the advantages. Coming back to why you should not choose this online degree or what are the reasons that if you're planning to pursue masters and you should not go for this. One. The first and the foremost reason is if your plan is to move to US or any other country and look for a job there, then this is not the best way to go about it. If you want to move to a different country and get a job there like US, it is much better to uh, go to that university on campus, study there for one and a half or two years, uh, have visa, have student visa and have the OPT visa that is required for you to apply for jobs and stay and then get an uh, H-1B from your employer wherever you are getting a job. If that is what you want, you want to settle to a, in a different country, you want to move to a different country like US or any other, then you should not go for this online degree. Then it's better that you go for an on-campus degree, finish it for two years, get a job and settle, right? Because all of that will not happen in this degree, in online degree right even though you are eligible to apply for companies but uh, usually uh, companies in US do not provide H1B visas to people who are not residing in US right that is one of the biggest factors so you might want to consider getting an on-campus degree in that case second reason uh, why you should not pursue online is if you're just looking for a job change if you're just uh, looking for going to a better tech company or a bigger tech company or if your aim is to go to FANG right then doing this degree will not help you right if you want to do that just go and prepare your brush up your technical skills uh, uh, prepare your data structures and algorithms uh, prepare for your system design videos using the playlist that i have created do all of that in order to get a better job you don't have to essentially pursue a master's degree in order to get a better job right that's not the reason to pursue an online degree third uh, reason is if you're looking for a thesis based masters right if you're looking for a thesis based masters and uh, you want to work on a research area and you want to write a thesis on it then also this is not a good idea because this degree from Georgia Tech is a project based masters it's not a thesis based masters so you will not get that part of uh, the degree and you might want to choose another program which provides a thesis based masters online or you want to move to on campus and uh, do your thesis work in that university wherever you go and one of the last reason which is not so technical is that if you are looking for an easy way out to put a master's on your resume, then this may not be the right choice because it is certainly not an easy way out. It is time consuming. It does cost some amount of money. It will take two to three years of your life away uh, uh, with part time working and uh, studying. So do consider that uh, if you want to, uh, if you want an easy master's, right, if you want that, this might not be the best option to go for it because it requires a lot of hard work. Uh, otherwise, uh, the reasons that I have listed other for choosing the online degree, like like apart from all these reasons, uh, like if, if the, these are not the reasons, uh, then you can go for an online degree. But if any of these reasons are there, you are looking for a job abroad or you're looking for a thesis based masters or you just want a job change, then maybe don't go for this degree. And otherwise, uh, if you are OK with staying where you are, if you are OK with not quitting your job, 
uh, you don't want to settle in a different country and you're happy wherever you are and you just want to upskill and learn, then online is the best option to go about it. So I have tried to cover various factors uh, for why you should go for an online degree like Georgia Tech or OMSCS or why you should not choose an online degree and go for a campus uh, degree uh, instead. So just consider and decide uh, what do you want, what is your purpose and then uh, choose wisely. If I have not covered any point or if you have any factor which is still confusing and you're not able to decide that which path you should go to, feel free to add that in comments and I will try to respond to it as much as I can. Also, there is a way in Georgia Tech's OMSCS online degree that you can transition from being an online student to an on-campus student. There is a procedure for it and you can still do it. And I, I thought that it would be better uh, to have a separate video on that. So in the next video, we are going to talk about how you can transition from an online student in OMSCS to an on-campus student. Till then, take care. See you in the next video.